Max Scherzer insists he's just your regular pitcher, but take a look at the mound and you'll definitely second guess that claim. You might even begin to wonder, is he the wildest hurler in the game? And what even makes a pitcher certifiably nuts? Well, in Scherzer's world, the madness is in craving that baseball like it's his last breath on earth and dreaming of tossing a shutout masterpiece every fifth day. Don't even think about suggesting otherwise to him. His differently colored eyes are just another factor adding to this baseball virtuoso's eccentricity. Scherzer's journey from the suburban streets of Chesterfield, Missouri to the dazzling lights of Major League Baseball is a testament to his fierce competitive nature and a relentless drive for excellence. Raised amidst the baseball fervor of the St. Louis Cardinals, he grew up as a fan, soaking in the spirit of the game. His early days at Parkway Central High School in Chesterfield saw him donning multiple hats, including baseball, football, and basketball, all in a bid to channel that competitive fire burning within. Indeed, raw talent might not have been his calling card, but Scherzer compensated with a tenacity that set him apart wherever he stepped on the field of play. No doubt, the echoes of his high school days, particularly under the influence of basketball maestro Rick Kirby, molded his approach to the game, emphasizing top fundamentals and a defense-oriented mindset for the young player. The Cardinals scouting director took notice of his youngster's tenacity and placed a bet on Scherzer in the 43rd round of the 2003 MLB Draft. This was a much-needed nod to the player's potential. However, the ink never met paper, as Scherzer chose the collegiate route instead, enrolling at the University of Missouri in Columbia. His early days at Mizzou were marked by an enthusiastic windup that sent his cap flying like a homing pigeon. Luckily, coach Tony Vitello was there to intervene, urging balance, control, and an end to the airborne spectacle. A winter of relentless refinement followed, resulting in a transformed delivery and an impressive sophomore season with a 1.86 ERA and 131 strikeouts over 106 innings. And soon enough, the pinnacle came in 2005 when Scherzer claimed the Big 12 Pitcher of the Year award. In addition, his collegiate exploits earned him a well-deserved spot in the University of Missouri Intercollegiate Athletics Hall of Fame. After his freshman stint at the University of Missouri in 2004, Max Scherzer didn't spend his summer idly. Instead, he took the mound for the lacrosse loggers in the Northwoods League, which was a collegiate summer baseball haven. While there, his stats spoke volumes, a 2-1 record, a dazzling 1.91 ERA, 6 saves, and an impressive 50 strikeouts in just 33 innings pitched. No wonder he snagged a mid-season All-Star nod that year. The Arizona Dimebacks saw the great potential in this player and selected Scherzer with the 11th overall pick in the 2006 MLB Draft, etching his name in Missouri's history books as their first-ever MLB first-round draft pick. Plus, scouts marveled at his relentless approach, so much that they nicknamed him Mad Max for the fiery demeanor he brought to the mound. It was from this time that the name stuck. Sadly, though, Scherzer's journey to the majors hit a bump during contract negotiations with the Diamondbacks. But unfazed, he embarked on a detour, launching his professional career with the Fort Worth Cats of the Independent American Association. In his short but spectacular tenure with the team, he boasted a 1-0 record, 25 strikeouts, and a stellar 0.56 ERA. The contract deadlock eventually broke, and Scherzer signed a four-year, $4.3 million deal with the Diamondbacks. No doubt, his journey through the minors showcased his exceptional prowess. From the Class A advanced Vesalia Oaks to the AA Mobile Bay Bears, he left a trail of strikeouts and impressive starts that would amaze even the most casual baseball fan. In 2008, Scherzer's call to the big leagues came, and on April 29th, he made an unforgettable MLB debut against the Houston Astros. Coming in as a reliever, he struck out seven batters and set a record for consecutive batters retired in a debut. The Arizona Diamondbacks were quick to recognize his potential and rewarded it by announcing his spot in the team's starting rotation. Despite a few hiccups in his first season, Scherzer's journey continued. He transitioned to a full-time starter in 2009, securing his first Major League victory and finishing the season with 30 starts, a 9-11 record, and an ERA of 4.12. But as the baseball winds of change blew, Scherzer found himself traded to the Detroit Tigers in a three-team agreement in December 2009. While in Detroit, this exceptional player's evolution from a hard thrower with some control issues into an ace on the diamond was in full swing. Partnering with Justin Verlander, he played a pivotal role in the Tigers' four consecutive AL Central Division championships. Plus, the journey reached its zenith in 2012, as the Tigers clinched the American League pennant even though they fell short in the World Series against the San Francisco Giants. In 2014, Max Scherzer showcased his pitching prowess with the Detroit Tigers, amassing an amazing 18-5 record, a 3.19 ERA, and 252 strikeouts, and marking his career-best figures. 
That year, the star player's stellar performance earned him a spot on the AL All-Star team, where he contributed a scoreless inning and clinched the win for the AL. Also, the regular season concluded with Scherzer tying for the AL lead in wins alongside Corey Kluber and Jared Weaver. The postseason saw Scherzer's lone appearance in Game 1 of the ALDS against the Baltimore Orioles, where he absorbed the loss after yielding five earned runs in seven and a third innings. Despite this setback, though, the determined player continued to make waves with his exceptional pitching. In 2015, Scherzer donned the colors of the Washington Nationals and embarked on a historic season. On June 14th of this year, he fell just short of perfection, allowing a bloop single to Carlos Gomez and issuing a base on balls to Scooter Gannett. However, in a stellar performance on October 2nd, Scherzer threw a no-hitter against the New York Mets, striking out 17 batters with no walks. This remarkable feat marked his second no-hitter of the season, a rare accomplishment in MLB history. Of course, Scherzer's brilliance generated a lot of praises and even extended to a tweet-worthy statement, claiming he was only a bloop single, an oversized elbow pad, and a throwing error away from throwing three perfect games. While not entirely accurate, this sentiment captured the essence of the excellent player's exceptional season. For his outstanding performances, Scherzer received the 2015 eSurance MLB Award for Best Pitcher. He finished the season with a 2.79 ERA, a 0.92 whip, and an MLB leading 8.12 strikeout to walk ratio. Moving forward to 2019, Max Scherzer continued his stellar pitching career with the Washington Nationals. Opening day saw him facing off against Jacob deGrom of the Mets, setting the stage for another remarkable season. By April 26th, Scherzer etched his name in history as the 35th pitcher to achieve 2,500 career strikeouts, a feat which he accomplished in the seventh inning against Manuel Margot of the San Diego Padres. Despite a brief stint on the injured list in July, this already legendary player concluded the 2019 season with an 11-7 record, a 2.92 ERA, and an impressive 243 strikeouts. He led the league in strikeout-to-walks ratio, fielding independent pitching, and strikeouts per nine innings, solidifying his status as one of the league's premier pitchers. The year 2021 brought a significant development again as Scherzer signed a record-breaking three-year $130 million contract with the New York Mets. Taking the mound for the Mets in his debut against the Washington Nationals on April 8, 2022, this master of the diamond earned a win, marking a poignant return to his former team's home field. Notably, he achieved his 200th career win on September 19, 2022, contributing to the Mets' first playoff appearance since 2016. However, a surprising turn of events occurred on July 29, 2023, when the Mets traded Scherzer to the Texas Rangers. And despite facing a major strain, the legendary player returned during the postseason. He started three crucial postseason games, including Game 3 of the 2023 World Series. Although experiencing back pain and being shut down again, he helped the Rangers secure their first World Series title and got his second championship ring. 